what I perceive, what I see the most important thing, first of all, for any man to connect to, to start doing, is to connect. I'm curious what you see the challenges that are like happening now mm-hmm. for men are. Like where does male or where does the masculine warrior, like where do you go? So, well, it's amazing. Because I, I was already answering that question in my mind while you were talking mm-hmm. before you even asked it. And On my first rodeo. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> and, you know, for me, from my perspective, um, I think this whole this whole thing that's been happening for, for the past two years and a half, or I don't know how, many, how much time two it's been years. going on, um, is that... In truth, yeah, there, there's a lot of destruction, a lot of uh, suffering, a lot of you name it. But for me, the way I perceive it or the way I see it, it that it's that it's a reunion. Mm. It is a reunion of the people <laughs> who have been together at war before mm. and are finding each other again. It is a reunion of our inner feminine and masculine. It is a reunion of men and women rising together to finally work side by side. It is a reunion of light and shadow. It is a reunion of everything that we need or everything that we perceived as being separate. But in truth, we are seeing that it is all one. And... So for me, when it comes to men's work, when it comes to everything that I'm doing and and what I perceive, what I see the most important thing, first of all, for any man to connect to, to start doing, is to connect to their inner feminine, Mm -hmm. okay? And you do it so well. And what I mean by that is that you honor our very earth, which is the great mother, which is Gaia, which is Pachamama, which is Mother Earth, you name her however you want it. And you are, you have, you un, you know, your purpose is all about honoring the feminine. I do know. <laughs> yes. And so that is the very first thing that I bring these men towards because it is the very first thing that they do not comprehend. It is the very first thing that they are disconnected to. You know, most men are disconnected from their emotions. Most men are connected from the love, unconditional love. Most men do not know what flow is. Most men do not know how to nurture. Most men do not know how to receive. Mm-hmm. And so and so, I keep telling them, you know, men, if you want to attract a feminine partner, whether woman or man, um, how are you going to do that if you don't, Know what your own feminine is. How are you going to do that if you're not harmonized with your own feminine? How are you going to respect and honor this earth like you do so well if you don't understand or honor your own feminine? And so when I speak of reunion or union, it's, it's I believe that men's work is about, yes, honoring the masculine, but also honoring the feminine. And what that means is that it's honoring this very earth. And we do that by becoming intimate with every aspect of ourselves. Because we're programmed and conditioned to believe that uh, we have to find intimacy with others. You know, if you look at the definition of the word intimacy, it's closeness between two people. But what about the closeness with ourselves? Mm -hmm. You know, what about... What about that conditioning of believing that to be happy, we have to have all the external things? Now, don't get me wrong. The external things are beautiful and they're great to have. But if you base your life on these things, then you'll never be happy, right? And so and so I believe that that's where the struggle is. It's, it's that condition in particular where we see the world outwards and we... We identify to the things that are in front of us and around us instead of actually looking inside of us and seeing where these outer things actually live inside of us and how we perceive the world through, through our, our own eyes. Basically, on, we perceive the world how we perceive ourselves. And so, 
And so I think that that's where the major struggle is, especially within men. You know, I, I can't talk about women. I'm not here to speak about women. But I, what I do know about my sisters and women that I love is that they have been doing the work <laughs> for a long time already. And, you know, they, they've, they are, they have been rising. And now it's our time for men to rise with them and be side to side with them. If that makes any sense. I think it does. <laughs> and... And so all of this, you know, the group that we created together, um, the coaching that I went through, you know, really brought me towards my purpose. And, you know, wh while everything happened, while everything was happening, um, while I was slowly starting to to start my mentoring or coaching, I was hesitating. still working in the restaurant. Mm -hmm. I was hesitating. I was still fearful about, you know, am I going to have enough? You know, am I going to have enough? Is is is. You know, I still have Do to I manage a enough? restaurant. Can have I, I done enough? Can I hire people to take care of the restaurant? Or how am I going to do this? And then in October, uh, we get um, we get water damage from the ceiling, and the restaurant has to has to close. And so, sacred feminine just <laughs> yeah yeah right the over. sacred feminine heard <laughs> she heard me she heard me she said you want to honor us let's go let's go it's time ready now it is it is time <laughs> mm -hmm. and um and so i had no other choice than to to jump into the coaching and um you know well successfully so yeah well it's you know it's starting and and i'm very grateful you know it is a grace and uh, i'm i feel just so fucking privileged to be doing this and meeting these wonderful men that come to me and even women and they're telling me how you know the things that I say, the things that I write, they resonate with, and I get to, <laughs> I get to listen to them. And for me, the, the most beautiful gift anyone can do is what you just did. You shared a part of your story. You literally gave me a piece of you. Literally, that's what you did. Mm -hmm. And all I had to do is listen. But for me, that is such a gift. It is such a gift. And I get that every day. And truth is, we can we can literally experience that every day if we give ourselves a permission or opportunity to actually listen, mm -hmm. to actually fucking listen. And and I'm grateful for the support support groups for that, and even the men's circle, the men's group. Because what do we do when we're in circles and we're talking? Well, for that all that you know, for the whole ninety minutes, well, you're talking for three minutes. For the rest of the time, you're listening. That's what I was about to say. It's not we're talking. It's eyes talking yes it's individuals talking and everyone else is listening is that everyone else is listening so you're listening and you're training yourself into listening yeah you might and wander like, off yeah you might wander off but there's something about you know these also circles that we've been doing where too. there's something about the fire there's also something about resonating with uh, with another man you don't want to miss his story because you know that his story has value for you has value and lives inside of you yeah. and this is what i've been seeing within stories and myths myths mm -hmm. as well mm -hmm. is that you know, when I when I read one of these legends or, or myths, I, I ask myself, where does that live in my world? Where 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 is that? Where has this happened in my world? You know, that's how I see it now. That's how I see it today, and and it's it's true. That, you know, hmm. Because I'm really diving into the archetypes. Mm -hmm. uh, lately, I've been really diving deep into these books. And, and of course, you know, they were written, if we look at King War, Magician, Lover, and, and the, 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 five, the five books uh, from the King Within, War Within, Magician Within, and Lover Within, were written by uh, psychotherapists, psychoanalysts, sorry, and a mythologist. <clears throat> so the book is written in all sorts of different stories. And when you're just reading the story, you could just read it. But if you're looking at it in a way where you're asking yourself, where does this live in my world? What is the, what is the, 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 what is the lesson here? And where has this happened in my story? Because truthfully, I believe all of these stories, they live inside of us. Can I add a piece to that? Please do. Okay. Hmm. Where does it happen in my story is one thing. Right. That's like the where did the where did the work happen? Where did it do? That's the horse. Yes. Can you imagine what I'm gonna say next? Please go. What do you feel? What do you feel? Where does it feel? Where do I feel what this? Do I way? feel, yes. 
right? Like earlier in your story, I paused you and I was like, ooh, okay, we've got a perfect moment to like let that energy mm -hmm. sink in. You remember when I paused you? Mm -hmm. I paused you when I was like, what, that, that dark VLT room. Yes. The bar, the bar it. you have no reason to be in there. I felt it. You felt that bar. I felt it. And balance. everyone felt that bar. <laughs> You're a Quebecer, you absolutely oh, felt yeah, that bar. Oh, yeah, you felt you it. You knew exactly what it looked like. <laughs> Le tri. You know what I mean? Damn. Like, you, you could feel mm -hmm. that. And so I think that there's certain things that happen, where, like, where is this happening to me? Where is it happening for me? Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? But the third one, mm -hmm. where is it happening through me? Yes. And where it's happening through you is in your feelings. Mm -hmm. That's it. If you can identify what's happening through you in your thoughts is one thing, but in your feelings, oh, man, now you're really onto something here. Yes. You know what I mean? Because now your thoughts are, your thoughts are always rationalizing but what if I walk into the VLT and, 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 and I make a hundred dollars and I turn it to two hundred dollars and Jamie have food? That's your thoughts. Your feelings are like, what if I felt significant if I walked into that thing so I don't feel like a loser? Because I'm a winner and I want to be a winner. And then eventually you go home and you realize you're a loser. Not to hate, but the and that feeling is what changes everything. Your thoughts come later. Your thoughts will then eventually figure out, how do I do that? Okay, I read David Goggins. I run something. <laughs> how many miles did I run? <laughs> right? <laughs> Chatter. But if you can truly feel it, that is also, in a sense, more of a connection to that feminine. 100%. Yes, sir. 